A month, the Treasury Department writes, get this, 80 million different checks for everything from big ticket items like Social Security, veterans benefits and non-defense contracts to smaller payouts to folks who are, for example, victims of black lung disease or people who are railroad retirement board pensioners. It's 80 million checks every single month. And again, only about half the money they'll need to make good on all those payments. So what does Treasury do? Who gets paid? Who doesn't? The Bipartisan Policy Center has laid out a possible scenario in which the Treasury Department only pays the following bills in August. Interest on our debts, Social Security benefits, Medicare and Medicaid, defense contracts, and unemployment benefits. Just paying those bills, just those, not all everything we owe, just those, brings us to about $172 billion, which if you'll remember, is all the money that they will have on hand. If only those programs get paid, here, my friends, is what doesn't get paid for. Military pay for active duty soldiers, veterans affairs programs, salaries and benefits for federal employees, Department of Education services like Pell Grants and special education, food services for low income women, infants and children, the Department of Labor, the Department of Justice, the Department of Energy, Health and Human Services grants, the Federal Highway Admission, the EPA, IRS refunds, the Small Business Administration, Oh, the Federal Transit Administration and Housing Assistance for the Poor. I'm sorry. Really, if we don't raise the debt ceiling, there is no money to pay for any of that stuff. These are the choices the Treasury Department could be facing over the next few weeks if there's no deal on the debt ceiling. Obama administration officials will reportedly brief the public after the markets close tomorrow about how they'll prioritize all of these payments.